Hello, hello. Very punctual. Oh my God. Thank you. Hello. Good afternoon. Hello, teacher. Yes, I thank you. Okay. Welcome, guys. Please make sure you have your full name and the cameras are on. Okay. Let's start today. Wow. Thank you for being on time. So let's start taking the attendance. Today is April 7th. April 7th. Let me see something really quick. So one, two, three. This is our fourth day. It's Wednesday, April 7th. Okay, <clears throat> so let's see. I have Ana Lidia Hernandez Perez. Present. Thank you. Ana Silvia Rodriguez Osorio. Okay. Andrea Esmeralda Arevalo Campos. Carlos Jose Blanco de León. Carolina Elizabeth Hernandez Amaya. Present. Thank you. Dalia Lilibet Sánchez. Present. Thank you, Doria. Dania Angelica Merlos Valle. Present. Thank you. Dora Alicia Rauda. Present. Thank you. Stephanie Yamilet Ayala Acosta. Stephanie Yamilet, no, okay. Ja Fatima Karin Karina Rodriguez Avalos. Present. Thank you. Hazel Francela Ruiz, I'm sorry, Cruz Gil. Hello. Hazel Francela. Jeremías Alexander Rivas Leiva. Jeremías Alexander. No. José Mario Hernández Santos. Karen. Present. Thank you, José Mario. Karen Astrid Luna Portillo. Teacher, me acabo de incorporar. Uh, Ok, Ana Silvia, gracias. gracias. Bien, uh, seguía con Karen Astrid Luna Portillo, Karen Stephanie Argueta Escobar. Present. Thank you, Carla Beatriz López Mejía. Kenia Celina Castillo Franco. Present. Thank you, Laura Bertila Campos Claros. Present. Thank you. Leonel Hernández Pérez. Present. Laura Carolina oh, Mejibar Argueta. Present. Thank you. Lady Julissa Recinos Portillo. Present. Thank you. Lorena Yesenia Méndez Trejo. Mario, thank you. Mario Ernesto Mejía Portillo. Present. Thank you. Mary Sabigail Fuentes del Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Ricardo Albino Hernández Pérez. Present. Thank you. Santos Miguel Martínez Portillo. Saraya Abigail Ruiz Hernández. Saray Esther Portillo Nerio. Present teacher. Thank you. Soraya Lisbeth Araujo Méndez. Present teacher. Susana Carolina Paula López. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you for being here on time. Let's start your class. So yesterday we finished with a conversation that you were supposed to study, right? Estudiaron la conversación? Yes. Okay. And we are 23. <laughs> so what conversation are we talking about? Let's see the conversation really quick. It's here. And here you have it. So Let's take a look really quick at the conversation and I will select some of you. So listen, it says, let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. 
Do you eat breakfast then? Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Wow. Okay. So I need two volunteers. Me, me teacher. Wait, I cannot mm -hmm. open the, there it is. Okay. So one more time. I need two volunteers. Me. Okay, I have Kenya you. and Soraya Lisbeth Araujo. Okay. Okay, thank you. Number one, ready? One, two, three, action. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep later on weekend. What time do you get out on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let me at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast at all day. Excellent, okay, good. Let's repeat. Uh, the final sounds, los sonidos finales de cada palabra son muy importantes, so let's go with the first word, which is park. Repeat, park. Park. Yep, there you park. go, park. 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 Next, late. 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 I sleep late on weekends. I sleep, I sleep, sleep late, late on weekends. weekends. Very good. Next word, breakfast. Breakfast. Break mm -hmm. break. You hear? It's not breakfast. It's breakfast. Very break good. Breakfast. Breakfast. Break Let's repeat. Do you eat breakfast then? Do you eat breakfast? Do you eat breakfast? Break then? Okay. Next mm -hmm. word. Meet. Then let's meet. 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 Then let's, then let's meet. Then let's meet. Then let's meet. Then let's meet. Next word, restaurant. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not restaurant, restaurant. 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 Okay, restaurant. restaurant. Next word, serve. 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 Okay. Serve. Serve. Um, Very good. They serve breakfast. Good. Great job. Okay. Let's continue. I need two more volunteers. Say aye. Jeremias, Joe. Okay, Jeremias. And Meris. Meris Abigail. Okay. Thank you. Meris Abigail. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. Action. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but, um, but let's go. In the afternoon, um, so a little late on weekend. What time do you get up on Sundays? Uh, 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you breakfast time? Sure, I breakfast every day. Train left me and the restaurant at one o'clock. We have a breakfast all day. Good, okay, let's repeat again. Um, let me see. Say hi guys, Jeremias and... Hola. Okay, what's her name, Soraya? No, I forgot her name. Oh my God. Yeah, Soraya, right? Me? No, <laughs> I forgot no. her name. Oh my God. Who was talking? Me, me, me. Yo, okay. teacher Jeremias. And? Se me olvidó el nombre de su compañera. Lo siento mucho. No me regañen. Creo que era Mary Abigail. Mary Abigail. Mary Abigail. 
<risa> Tampoco, ok, Mary's amiga de Thank you, Mary's, está matando el chiste, ok <risa> Qué mala onda, ok Vaya, y no decía nada, ok, good So, listen, Mary lo, lo dejaba sufrir, teacher uh -huh. Amiga, okay. you say but 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 let's, but let's go in the afternoon But let's go in the afternoon But But, but let's Ok. Vamos a empezar a practicar algo bien. No okay. leer. Leer una vez y memorizarme lo que estoy leyendo. Eso le va a ayudar muchísimo. Además, cuando estemos en esto de escuchar, repetir. A ver, so repeat, sin leer. But let's go in the afternoon. But let's go in the afternoon. Mejor. Very good. But let's go in the hey. afternoon. <laughs> Let's, okay. but, but let's go in the afternoon. But let's go in the afternoon. Mejor, very good. Okay, ahora es af, af, afternoon. Afternoon. Very good, afternoon. Okay, uh -huh. you say 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock, repeat. At 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock. Very good. At 10 o'clock. Very good. Do you eat? Breakfast then? Do you eat breakfast then? You breakfast then? Okay, do you eat breakfast then? You breakfast then? Uh, okay. Hello. And Jeremias, I have breakfast. Te comiste el have. I breakfast every day. No, I have breakfast every day. Uh, I have breakfast every day. Good. Okay, great job. Bien, guys, I'm going to split you in teams, in small groups. Okay, you're going to be in small groups. Esa imagen ya está en su grupo de WhatsApp. Ernesto, José Mario, bueno, José Mario tiene problemas con su conexión, Lady Julissa, Dora Alicia, Dania, Carla Beatriz, Ricardo, Laura Carolina, Carlos José y Flor, ah, perdón, Flor. Ok, turn on your camera, please. Ok, encienden su cámara, porfa. Let's go in small groups. Vamos a leer y repetir cuantas veces podamos, solo vamos a hacer esto por ocho minutos exactamente para movernos al siguiente topic, ok? Okay, please okay. accept the invitation. Let's go, let's go. Okay, come on, come on, come on. <clears throat> okay, let's start. Hola. Si quiere, yo empiezo con Ana Silvia Rodríguez. Pueden compartir la imagen. Alguien la puede compartir. Si está en una computadora, mucho que mejor. ¿Quién la puede compartir? Mm, no, yo estoy en teléfono. Sí, ajá, yo tampoco puedo. Igual se puede del teléfono, pero eso es opcional. ¿eh? Si lo tiene ajá. cada... Si cada uno lo tiene en su WhatsApp, igual la idea es poderlo leer. Ok, vamos. One, Bye. two, three, action. Es primero. Let's go to the bar on Sunday. Ok, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get out on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, 10 early on Sunday. You got do you eat breakfast then? Sure, sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at the restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Okay, good. Very good. Repeat. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Ahí estás, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up. Ahí, ajá, very good. Y con más energía, así como que querés de verdad aprender y, y sos tú la que estás ahí en la historia, ¿ok? 
Sí. Vamos, más alegres, vamos, come on. Do it again, vamos a hacerlo de nuevo cuantas veces podamos, nos quedan cinco minutos, come on. Voy yo. I get up at no. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have I have breakfast every day. Then let me have the restaurant. Uh, on the clock, they serve breakfast all day. Okay, that was at one o'clock. Repeat, breakfast, breakfast. Breakfast. Mm -hmm. Break fast. Break, break fast. Uh -huh. Breakfast, very good. And you say one o'clock, at one o'clock. So can I use a part of yeah, one o'clock, one o'clock. Okay, do it one again. One o'clock. Better. Vamos, hagámoslo de nuevo, nos quedan cuatro minutos. Do it again. Okay. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time uh, do you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sunday, I, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I know. Do you, sure, I have a breakfast, breakfast every day. Then let me at this restaurant at one o'clock. They service breakfast all day. Hmm. Good job. Okay, repeat, restaurant. 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 Very good. And serve, serve. Serve. It's a serve. V, uh -huh. it's a Victor. They serve uh -huh. breakfast serve. all day. They serve breakfast all day. Good job. Okay, do it one more time. Nos quedan tres minutos. One more time. Okay. Why do you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sunday, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then, let's meet at this restaurant that one o'clock they serve at breakfast all day ok, good están teniendo problemas con esa oración la última oración de Jack sure, I have breakfast every day sure, I have breakfast every day y también con la palabra serve they serve breakfast all day they serve serve breakfast all day Y la de Jack donde dice, oh, that's early. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's early. That's early. Early. That's early. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. I get up at noon. No sé quién estaba leyendo, pero súper bien. Okay. Next. Do it again. Do it again. One minute. Eh, ¿con Creo que voy con Laura. Ah, bueno. Vaya. ¿Quién empieza? Yo? Yo empiezo si gusta. Vaya. Let's go to the. La pronunciación, a mí también todavía me cuesta algunas pronunciaciones. Oh, restaurant. Yo les comparto lo poquito que voy investigando porque. Gracias. <risa> Bye. No sé si cambian, compañeras, el rol así como nosotros hicimos. Sí. sí. Okay. Uh -huh. Bye. Let's go. Let's go to the bar on Sunday. Okay. Uh, but let's go to the afternoon. Let's go in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. uh, I am sleep late on weekends. Where is night? Did you get out on Sunday? At the 10 o'clock. Oh. Mm, that's early on Sunday. Uh, do you get up um, now? Do you eat 
breakfast then. Sir, I uh, have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve this uh, breakfast a uh, day. Ok, eh, bien. ¿Qué es lo que ocurre cuando estás intentando leer algo? Eh, que tu cerebro te, está, te, está, te va a hacer hasta lo imposible porque tú leas tal cual están las letras ahí. Porque nunca ha leído inglés. Entonces, por ejemplo, decía eh, Carolina, eat, eh, I, ¿dónde era? Eat, 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 eat. Let's see. La segunda do you, uh, Amy, okay. do you eat breakfast then? Que es la versión con la que la mayoría está teniendo problemas. Do you eat breakfast then? Do you eat, eat breakfast eat then? Breakfast then. Ajá, no es break, breakfast, no, breakfast, breakfast. 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 Ajá, do you eat breakfast then? Do you eat breakfast then? Eat breakfast. Eat breakfast then. Ahí, ajá. Esa es la oración con la que la mayoría está teniendo ese problema. Let's go, y decía Carolina, let's go at the afternoon. Let's go in the afternoon, decía por ahí. Let's go in the afternoon. O decía, no, let's go. Ajá, ahí está. But let's go in the afternoon. Y también at the 10 o'clock, me decía Carolina. At the 10 o'clock. No, no hay un... No hay un D ahí. Es at 10 o'clock. Uh, at 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock. Como decir at, 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 at algo así. At, at, uh -huh. at 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock. Cabal. Ahora, esa palabra, serve. 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 They serve. serve. They serve. They serve. 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 Correct. They serve. Breakfast every day. every day. That's right. Okay, so let's keep an eye on that. Vamos a, a mantener un ojo en eso. Okay, let's go back. Let's go. Ok, tratemos de encender la, la cámara, por favor, en la medida de lo posible. Let's go. Let's continue. Cuando los divido en grupos, ustedes pueden eh, compartir la imagen. Si alguno del, del grupo quiere compartir la imagen que estamos leyendo, en este caso, lo puede hacer. Darle compartir en Zoom y poder compartir la imagen. Ok, so let's continue. So, on the next topic, we have, what's your schedule like? Pero, pero antes de esto, eh, y es un reading, eh, preguntas con las questions en presente. Tenemos claro que al hacer una pregunta cerrada, un yes or no question, empezamos con el auxiliar, ¿verdad? Do, does, do, does, dependiendo del sujeto que voy a ocupar. Si es una pregunta más específica, una WH question. Tengo que agregar esa what, where, when, who, how al principio. ¿Ok? Dependerá de la WH si lo notaron, ¿verdad? Si va a necesitar una palabra complementaria, como lo habíamos ayer con Ernesto, o no. Y luego, pues, vendrá el auxiliar, ¿no? What do you do? What time do you get up? ¿Ok? Etcétera. Bien, let's move on. Let's continue. So now we have a reading. Let's see what Jose has to say about the reading. Let's listen. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in predicting, scanning, and sequencing events after reading and discussing three interviews about schedules. Reading. What's your schedule like? 
Student reporter Mike Starr talks to people on the street about their schedules. Brittany Davis, college student. What's your schedule like? My classes start at 8 a.m., so I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. When do your classes end? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. So when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening, from 8 until midnight. Joshua Burns. Burns, website designer. What's your schedule like? Well, I get up at 6.30 a.m. and go for a run before breakfast. How do you go to work? I work at home. I start work at 8. Around 1, I take a lunch break. How late do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. Maya Black, rock musician. What's your schedule like? I work at night. I go to work at 10 p.m. and I play until 3 a.m. What do you do after work? I have dinner. Then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 5 in the morning. Okay. Maya Black. So, what do we have to do with this conversation? Number one. Can you identify the questions using simple present? Por cierto, ¿pueden ver la imagen? ¿Se entienden las letras? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay, okay so yes. let's... Yes. Háganme un favor. Quienes puedan, activen su herramienta de anotación. Es un pequeño lapicito que aparece ahí en Zoom. Y traten de controlarlo y, e indicar en, en la lectura. ¿Dónde están las preguntas? What are the questions? Ya sé que WH questions o solo con do. ¿Cuáles son las preguntas? <ríe> ok. <ríe> Cuesta controlar esa herramienta la primera vez. Ok, ya, ya practicaron. Ahora voy a borrar de nuevo, espérense. <ríe> Vamos, otra vez. Ya no pude. Ok. Déjenme borrar de nuevo. Ok, vamos, otra vez. Doralicia puso, what's your schedule like? Cabal, esa es la pregunta principal. Santos puso, what do you do after work? Very good. No sé quién puso eso. When do your classes end? Very good. So, when do you study? Good. Benjamin, uh, I work at home. Now, how do you go to work, okay? What time do you go to bed? How late do you work? Okay, perfect. Están como en orden, ¿no? Y prácticamente, Mike Starr es el que hace todas las preguntas, el que dice MS, Mike Starr. Es el entrevistador. So let's see, what's your schedule like? ¿Qué entienden por esa pregunta? What's your schedule? ¿Cómo es tu horario? ¿Cómo es tu horario, Gabal? ¿Cuál es tu horario? Ok, my classes start. Quiero que noten que dice my classes start. Es plural. Entonces es, cuando tenés objetos plurales, decíamos los reemplazas por they. So my classes start at 8 a.m. Give me one second. So, look, my classes start. Uno las S en el sonido. My classes start at 8 a.m. So I get up at 7 a.m. Take the bus to school. And take the bus to school. Okay, when do your classes end? Sigo con el plural S. Por eso es segunda persona. When do your classes end? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. So when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening from 8 until midnight. So let's see. Um, alguien que no haya participado. I need a volunteer. Volunteer. Yeah. Excellent. Carlos Jose. Let's see. What's your schedule like, Carlos Jose? Mm. 
quiero que notes que puedes contestar cualquiera de las tres opciones. Mira, well, I get up at... Y puedes cambiar la hora, ya vimos la hora. Well, I get up at five, eight, ajá. Uh -huh. uh, my class start at a.m., so I get up at seven o'clock and take the bus to school. Y de verdad así pasa contigo. <ríe> o sea, quiero que nos digas lo que tú haces. Tu eh, horario, ¿cómo es tu horario a, a diario? ¿Qué es lo que haces normalmente? Uh, eh, I get up at 8 o'clock and after that I, I have my breakfast mm -hmm. and then I, I do my homework and, and at the noon eh, I, I have my, my lunch and at 1 at o'clock I, I take my English class. Okay. And that's it. That's it? Okay. After 2 p.m. Good. I have my lunch. I have lunch. I have lunch. Okay. Good job. Hey, muy bien, Carlos. Carlos Jose. <clears throat> Good. Another volunteer. Same question. Another volunteer. Hmm. Volunteer or victim? Hi, Ana Silvia. Good. Thank you, Ana Silvia. Go. What's your schedule like? Um, I get up at 5 a.m. and go for a, a walk and water my garden before breakfast before breakfast okay good you say water <clears throat> water the garden water okay water uh, water okay good job and one more just one more person ernesto would you like to try ernesto portillo hi okay what's your schedule like Um, I get up at uh, 6 a.m. Um, and, uh, I run before uh, uh, the breakfast. Um, and then uh, um, I, I go to the work. And I, I have I have long uh, uh, um, at 12 uh, noons. I, my class start at uh, um, uh, one, uh, one p.m. Uh, to uh, two p.m. Uh, after that, uh, I start uh, my TC degree and then uh, I, I have a diner um, at 6 p.m. At the night, I watch TV, uh, I watch the news, and, and then uh, I, I go to the bell at uh, 9 or 10 p.m. Excellent. Okay. Ooh, okay, good. Bien. Así son incluso las entrevistas. No tenés que detenerte, de, 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 no dejar de hablar hasta que te digan, okay, thank you, thank you, that's enough. Let's see. I get up. Ernesto, I get up. I, I get up. Ajá. I muchos get up. están, muchos se, se equivocan con esto, el get up. Grat, mira la diferencia entre cómo formulas una T al final de una palabra. O decís, I get up, I get up, up. Ok, y es una A, no es U ni O. I get up, I go to the work, I go to work. Ese D, 
de ese artículo muchos lo están poniendo antes, chicos. El artículo THE no va antes de un verbo, ¿eh? No va antes de un verbo ni antes del nombre de una persona, ¿o? ¿oh? Ojo, ¿eh? No digo the Brian, el Brian, ¿ok? I go, I go to work. I go to work. ¿Ok? Uh, my class starts. My class starts. Estoy usando tercera persona. ¿Con qué sujeto reemplazo my class? José. Estoy en el chat, chicos, de Zoom, si ya se fijaron. Ahí, ahí he puesto las notas, ¿verdad? Eh, el chat de Zoom. O so, digo, my class starts. No, my class start. Luego decir de esto, at 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Bien, es, my class starts at 1 p.m. Ahí no puedo decir to 2 p.m. Tendría que haber dicho, my class is from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. From two, from two. I work from 8 a.m. to, uh, I work from 5 a.m. to 5 p.m., for example. Um, okay. After that, en la pronunciación de la T al final. After that, after that, after that, okay. Diner, decíamos dinner, dinner, I have dinner. Y la última palabra decía Ernesto, th thanks por decir, then I go to bed, then, then I go to bed. Y entonces me voy a la cama. Súper bien. Ok. Pronunciation, very important, ok. Let's continue. So, let me make some questions. Who wakes up? No. Uh, yeah. Who wakes up at 6.30 a.m.? Who wakes up at 6.30 a.m.? Look at the reading. Look at the reading. Who? Joshua. 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 Cuando yo empecé a hablar inglés, eh, una novia que tuve, para que no me identificaran que era yo, los familiares le hablaba por teléfono y decía que era Joshua. Joshua, y me di cuenta que decía Joshua, y el hermano de ella sabía hablar inglés, y le daba risa cada vez que decía, ¿quién, quién, quién le habla? Me decía yo, ah, Joshua, le mataba el chiste, tal es loco, les. <risa> Joshua, ok, a ver, I get up at 6.30 a.m., dice Joshua, very good, who, who goes to bed at 5 in the morning? Who goes to bed at 5 a.m.? Maya Black. 5 a.m. Wow. Okay. Maya's schedule is crazy, right? She works at night. Okay. At what time does Maya has dinner? What do you think? At what time does Maya have dinner? Mm. Until, until, until 3 a.m. Uh -huh. After, after she, 3. She after. Dinner after, oh, after uh, work. She, she has dinner after work. After work. Uh -huh. dinner uh -huh. after. I have dinner. Good. After work, it says, because uh -huh. Mike asks, right? What do you do after work? I have dinner. Okay. Good. Rock mm. musician. Good job, guys. Let's move on. Okay. Our next topic, it's section two. Okay. No. There's a, in, el examen es sobre esa, esa lectura, ya se fijaron. Okay. Why am I not able to go back to the course? Give me one second. So we're gonna start section two with does it have a view? Does it have a view? And we continue with the present simple, okay? 
Now we have vocabulary about house and apartments. Uh oh, house and apartments. This is a very short uh, lesson. Let's pay attention, okay? Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for talking about places in houses and apartments. Let's get started by listening and repeating. House. A house has two floors, a garage, and a yard. The first floor has a living room, a dining room, a kitchen, a laundry room, and stairs to the second floor. The second floor has a hall, three bedrooms, and a bathroom. Every bedroom has a closet. Apartment the apartment building has a lobby and an elevator. Every apartment has a living room, a kitchen, a dining room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a closet. Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just heard. I would like for you to describe your home. Let me provide the following questions to help you do that. What rooms are in your house? What rooms are in houses in your country? What rooms are in apartments in your country? After you complete this exercise, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so do you Describe hear? Your home. Let me provide the following. We have three basic questions, okay? Tenemos tres preguntitas. What rooms are in your house? How can I answer that question? What rooms are in your house? Someone? Carolina Elizabeth is talking on the phone. Fatima, Karina, hello. What rooms are in your house? Um, in my house are three rooms. Three rooms, I have three rooms. Have we have three rooms, my house, has my house third person has three rooms good three rooms um how many floors how many floors does your house have how many floors does your house have santos miguel how many floors does your house have cuantos pisos tiene tu casa Eh, eh, excuse me, eh, teacher. Mm -hmm. El micrófono no estaba encendido. It's okay. Uh, two floors in my house. Okay, I have two floors in my house. My house has two yeah. floors. Repeat, my house has two floors. My house has two floors. Two floors. Good, Santos. Good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good job. So, what rooms are in houses in your country? Do we have a living room? Do you have a living room, Sarah Esther? <clears throat> Do you have a living room in your house? Sala de estar, ¿verdad? Uh huh. Uh, my house uh, has living room one. One living room. Siempre. Primero califico. Uh -huh. My house has <clears throat> one living room. Wow. Okay. Good. Um, do you have a garage? Sorry. My house uh, has has one garage. One garage. My house has a garage. A garage. garage. You can use a. Okay. Mm. No, Carlos, sería what rooms, ajá, cuántos, no, qué, qué cuartos, perdón, qué cuartos, o cuáles cuartos, Carlos, muy bien. Sería, por ejemplo, um, yeah, ajá, what rooms are in your house? What rooms are in your house? Uh, do you have um, a dining room, Carolina Elizabeth, in your house?
no se le escucha. No, no se te escucha. Hola. Hello, hoy sí. ¿Es, ¿Es cocina? No. Mm, no, es similar. Es where you eat. ¿Sala? Where you where you eat that's right but does your house has a dining room does your house has a dining room sé qué significa la palabra teacher una sala un comedor my house have one dining room dining room Dining, dining room. room. Okay, my house has, recuerden que es tercera persona, my house has a dining room. A dining room. Two Teacher, dining rooms. Yep. I have a question. Sí, Jeremías, creo. Mm -hmm. Sí, um, eh, el have y has tienen como mismo significado, ¿verdad? Es lo mismo. Correcto. Pero, ¿cuándo, ¿cuándo, se, cuándo, se, ¿Cuándo se ocupa have y cuándo se ocupa has? A ver, ¿quién me ayuda con esa respuesta que vimos ayer? Has es para ellos. Es para tercera persona. Has to person. Third person, that's right. ¿Qué son? He, she, he, she, he, she, he, it. He, she, it. Very good. Ahí es cuando los ocupas, Jeremy, acordate, ayer lo yeah. vimos. He, she, it, has. She, entonces, she. Pero entonces, ¿por qué si digo my house? Estoy ocupando has. Esa sería tu pregunta, ¿no? Sí. My house has. Porque, y esto, esto Jeremías, lo tenés que dominar súper rápido. ¿Ok? ¿Cómo tú reemplazas mentalmente ese ejercicio? Un objeto, lo reemplazas con el sujeto it. Cualquier objeto, tangible o intangible, se reemplaza con el sujeto it. Si te, si te digo el aire, the air, it. Uh, the bedroom, it. The dog, it. Si no tiene nombre. Ok, te digo Pedro, he. Sara y Esther. Jeremías. Espérame. ¿Cómo? cómo? <ríe> si te digo Sara y Esther, ¿cómo lo reemplazarías? ¿Con qué sujeto? She. She. Entonces, esa conversión va así, ve, en tu mente. ¿Ya? Yeah. Lo mismo. Te estoy diciendo, si te digo, a ver, Jeremías, si te digo our, our secretary, our secretary. Our secretary. Nuestro secretario. Nuestra secretaria. Ajá. Nuestra ¿Con secretaria. Qué, ¿Con qué sujeto eh, lo reemplazaría? We. Ajá. Ahí está. Eh, Teacher. La trampita, la trampa que te van a poner en los exámenes. Van a poner esos pronombres, esos posesivos adjetivos posesivos antes de los nombres para que te confundas aunque diga our secretary my secretary sigue siendo she ella, sí. sigue hablando de ella, de la secretaria nuestra ah, suya ya, yeah. yeah, my uncle o sea, ahí, ahí sería has sí, sigue siendo tercera persona ya yeah. teacher. Yeah, teacher gracias Good, good. I can teacher, sí, sí. teacher, cuando, cuando a veces dicen it's me, it para me. decir soy yo, que usan it's. Ah, ese soy yo, eso soy yo. Sí, pero no vas a traducir eso soy yo. Es como, ¿quién está tocando la puerta? Ah, oh, soy yo, it's me. ¿Ya? Eso, ese sonido, soy yo. O ese soy yo. Para que me, me entendas el uso del it, it is me. ¿Ok? Ok. Good. Anybody else? Ok, let's go with some pronunciation. So, here you have a house, and here you have an apartment. House, apart, house. apartment. 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 Keep going, keep going. House, apartment the first floor look you say first first floor the first floor then you have a second second floor okay you have a bathroom let's go with the apartment a bath room bathroom 
Bedroom. Ahí no soplo. Bed, bedroom. A closet. A dining room. Dining room. A living room. A kitchen. Kitchen. Pueden confundirse con chicken, pero este es kit, kit, kitchen. Elevator. Elevator. Give me a second. Elevator. Okay. Second floor of the house. Let's go with the bedroom, two bedrooms, three bedrooms. My house has three bedrooms. A closet, the hall. Do you know what is a hall? Pasillo. Pasillo, very good. Hall. Stairs. Stairs. Ok. Traten de practicar palabras que empiezan con S en inglés como student, stop, stay. Ok. Porque en español no hay palabras que empiecen con S. Todas empiezan con una E y te va a dar tentación decir stairs. Stairs. Mm -mm. Ojo, es stairs. Stairs. Student. Stop. 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 Ok. Bathroom. Bathroom. Una TH siempre va a sonar a Z y ese es bathroom. Bathroom. Ok. Next. Garage. Garage. Ok. Laundry. Laun laundry room. Laundry room. Ok. ¿Qué es el laundry room? Creo que es el nuevo para todos. Laundry room. Lavandería. El cuarto de lavar. El, cuarto, el de lavar. cuarto de lavado. Perfecto. Donde se lava la ropa. Todo. Aquí una pila tenemos en el patio ya, ¿no? Laundry it, room. It's laundry room. It's a laundry room. Sigue siendo el laundry room, cabal. Ok, let's see. Kitchen. Ya decíamos allá, ¿no? Kitchen, ok. Dining room. Comedor. El comedor. Very good. And the living room. Una cosa nueva. ¿Qué es una yard? Es como lo que llamamos patio. Three bedroom. Ah. ¿Dónde está la grama? Yes. El patio. El patio, cabal. Usualmente oh, está God. atrás. Ok, en este caso, si no me equivoco, está en el frente. En el hierro. ¿Cómo, cómo se decía patio, teacher? Yard. Yard. Aquí está, mira. Yard. 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 Pueden haber backyards. Back, así como B, A, C, K. Backyard. Back este es el back, backyard, ajá, en front yard. Backyard and front yard. Ok. Si tú te pones a buscar vocabulario en tu casa, tener cuidado, no vayas a ocupar eh, palabras que no existen en español, como esa, la pila. Hmm. ¿Cómo se dirá pila en inglés? Porque en Estados Unidos, o al menos... Donde hace frío en Estados Unidos no hay pilas. ¿Por qué? No se puede lavar la ropa hacia mano. <ríe> se congela lo que pongas a secar en, en el viento. Okay. ok. Oh, we're missing one. Nos falta esta. Lobby. El lobby. What is a lobby? ¿Qué es un lobby? lobby. El vestíbulo. La sala de espera. Perfecta traducción. Ahí está la traducción correcta. Vestíbulo. Nosotros decimos sala de espera. Ok. Sala de estar decimos en español también. ¿Cuál es tu sala? ¿Dónde tenés sala de estar? De estar. Es un vestíbulo. Ajá. Fíjate que adaptación, ¿no? Adaptación. Sala de estar. No tiene que ver nada con inglés tampoco. De estar. De estar. De estar descansando. De estar viendo tele o no sé. Ok. So front yard, backyard. Patio trasero, patio delantero. Ok. Lobby. El lobby no sería, veo. ajá, acá está. El lobby ah, sería. No veo, no lo y cuesta distinguir en la imagen. Lobby sería. Eh, ¿Qué dijimos? Sala de espera, <risa> pero lo dijo, pero. 
Ajá, por ahí es vestíbulo. Vestíbulo. No estamos acostumbrados a decir vestíbulo. Y está en un hotel, en un edificio, ¿ok? Good. Bien, tarea, busquen más vocabulario, miren a su alrededor, se los decía antes, pónganle post-its a todo alrededor de la casa, o sea, menos a los niños, ¿verdad? o al chucho, pero hay que poner post-its con ah, el nombre de cada cosa ahí, ¿no? En toda la casa, cómo se dice lámpara, cómo se dice escritorio, CPU, ventilador, ¿ok? Y así, va buscando vocabulario. Wow. Ajá, ¿cómo se dice mouse? ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Cómo se dice esto en español? Ajá. ¿Cómo se dice esto en español? ¿Qué se ve eso? Ratón. Sí, ¿verdad? Otro... No puedo creer que le hayan puesto ratón en español. Bueno, si España le pudo poner el broma a, al guasón. Bueno. <risa> que no entendieron el chiste. Good guys, eh, se nos acaba el tiempo, vamos a pasar lista y pero primero por favor enséñame sus cámaras si son tan amables. Please as usual and smile. José Mario, porfa, Laura Carolina. Está más bonita la foto, dice. José Mario, no sé si puedes encender tu cámara un ratito, ¿ok? Smile guys, please. Ok. Ahí viene Mario, ahí viene José Mario, no lo mero, no lo mero. Ok, bueno, let's go. Ok, one, can you just one second. Whiskey. Whiskey, cheese. Ok, and one more, give me just one second. Dalia. Laura, Laura, ok, good. Please smile. Smile one more time, good. Ok, there we go. Bien, chicos, let's see, where are you? Here. Ana Lidia Hernández Pérez. Present. Thank you. Ana Silvia Rodríguez Osorio. Thank you. Andrea Esmeralda Arevalo Campos. Carlos José Blanco de León. Present. Thank you. Carolina Elizabeth Hernández Amaya. Present. Thank you. Dalia Lilibet Sánchez. Present. Thank you. Doralicia Rauda. Present. Thank you. Stephanie Yamilet Ayala Acosta. Teacher. Stephanie Yamilet. No. Fátima Karina Rodríguez Ábalos. Present. Thank you. Hey, sí. No me mencionó, soy Dania. Dania, no te mencioné. No. Ah, sí, ahí está. Ok, sí, ya te tomé. Muchas gracias. Hazel Francela Cruz Gil. No, ok. Jeremías Alexander Rivas Leiva. Present. Thank you. José Mario Hernández Santos. Present. Thank you. Karen Astri Luna Portillo. Ok. Karen Estefani Arguete Escobar. Thank you. Carla Beatriz López Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. Kenia Celina Castillo Franco. Present. Thank you. Laura Bertila Campos Claros. Present. Thank you. Laura Carolina Mejíbar Argueta. Present. Thank you. Leonel Hernández Pérez. Present. Lady Julisa Recinos Portillo. Present. Thank you. Lorena Yesenia Méndez Trejo. Ok. Eh, thank you. Mario Ernesto Mejía Portillo. Mary Sevigail Fuentes de Velázquez. Present. Thank you. Give me just one second. Okay. Ricardo Albino Hernández Pérez. Present. Thank you. Santos Miguel Martínez Portillo. Present. Saraí Abigail Ruiz Hernández. Saraí Abigail, no. Okay. Saraí Esther Portillo Nerio. Present. 
Soraya Lisbeth Araujo Méndez. Present teacher. And Susana Carolina Paula López. Thank you, guys. Uh, bien, I'll see you tomorrow at 1 p.m. again, ¿ok? Si quieren okay. ayuda con algo de la plataforma, escríbanme y yo les ayudo con okay. mucho gusto, ¿ok? Ok. okay. Bye. 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 Thank you.